As part of the court process, we'll put together a forecast for the amount of energy that, that the system will produce. And we can generally get that plus or minus 5%. So we draw the building in 3D. The software that we use works out the irradiance on each plane of the roof. So that means we know how much sunlight is going to hit that roof that we can convert into to energy. We then know all of the components that we've put in the system and how efficiently they convert that sunlight into energy. So we know how much the system is going to generate. We can then put in your consumption data if you give it to us. If you give us your electricity bills, we'll know how much we expect you to use. And then from that, using a typical pattern of how we expect the, your usage to work through the day, we can predict how much of your energy you'll self-consume. So this is, again, is not a, an overall answer for everyone. It's something we quote for everybody in, as a bespoke system. But I would say the vast majority of our systems are covering from April, May to September, October, covering nearly 100% of the customer's energy usage. And then over the winter months, September, October to um, January, February time, that's where it's a bit variable and, and we might not be hitting as much of it. The things that make a big difference energy consumption wise, hot tubs, very, very difficult to get a hot tub um, completely powered by, by solar and electric cars. So I have that personally. I am out all day in the car, going to sites, visiting customers and so on. And then I tend to need to charge my car in the evening or overnight when the sun's not generating. My self-consumption is, is quite hard to, to achieve with solar. So we're generally looking at the household energy consumption, that you know, your lights, sockets, laptops, broadband, all that type of stuff. That's very straightforward to get covered for, for most of the year. Of all the systems we've installed to date, um, if we take the, the total of all of them that have been in for more than six months and add all that up, they're covering 61% of those customers' energy usages. And that includes EV charger customers, includes myself. So to get 61% of that covered is, is pretty good going. Uh, some customers are achieving more than 80% of their, their annual energy consumption from, from solar PV.